Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Terry. Welcome to another edition of An Orchid a Day. It's Friday. Yay. I believe this is number 58. Yay. Still can't believe that I'm still doing these videos. But today is going to be short again. I'm just going to briefly show my Stanhopias. This is for Todd, Todd's Tropicals. If you don't know Todd's channel, it's Todd's Tropicals, as I said. And he, besides orchids, he grows all different kinds of plants. He grows them outside. He also grows a lot of trees, frankincense, and just all kinds of stuff. So anyway, he had asked me how my Stanhopias were. Um, they bloomed beautiful. They bloomed beautifully for me last year. Um, several of them I had to repot, and before they bloomed, I firmly, based on my experience and my care, any Stanhopia for me that has bloomed, it doesn't bloom for another year or so. I mean, I'm sorry, not year or so. It doesn't bloom every year for me. Um, it appears to me that they expend so many so much energy doing that that it just saps them and they need that rest so um and also stanhopias uh they're generally always 99 percent planted in span in in moss because their roots are very fine number one and they are they're inflorescence emerge from the bottom of the plant through the basket through the moss and they like to stay moist pretty much year-round some of them prefer uh, less in winter and some prefer to be dry in the winter time but generally when they are watered they want to be wet copiously wet when they are growing I generally will water these sometimes two or three times a day in the summertime and they really like that um, that's the only way to push their bulbs to like a blooming size, I think. But um, these plants are from South America all the way down to Brazil, from Mexico to Brazil, basically. Uh, mostly from intermediate altitudes. They are epiphytic. Um, and they are known for their flowers that are very short-lived, but are very, very fragrant and very weird. They look almost like uh, claws, I don't know, dragons. Well, no, that's gongoras, but they're very unique. Uh, but like I said, they only last a few days. So this is my Stanhopia Shuttleworthii. I've had this a few years. Did I repot it? Did I put a date on that? I guess not. I've had this a few years. This was repotted maybe a couple of years ago. I think this is still pretty much a seedling. It does have a few new growths going on it. This is more of a yellow, I believe, with some spots on it. Maybe some orange. This kind of hangs down here. I used to, when I started growing Stanhopias, I used to grow them in as high a light as I could give them without scorching their leaves. Last, well, a couple of years ago, on a trip to Nats, they informed me that Stanhopia is like low light. And they told me to lower the Stanhopias from the top to the bottom of the greenhouse. So, and that, that some winter I did that, and then that was when they all bloomed. So, who knows? Um, I do have them hanging low. Some of them are hanging high up. Uh... But let me get back to the video. This is my Stanhopia Litsii. This is one that I got at uh, Nats that trip. This does have a couple new growths that are coming up. Still fairly late in the season. This was just a repot this summer, I know. And Stanhopias, in order for them to bloom, whatever they are potted in, they have to be root bound. They will not bloom unless their roots are completely covering the pot. So when you do a repot, you should not repot them 
too too big uh, or else it will take years for them to bloom for you um, the one above here is a new acquisition that I just got this week this is a Stanhopia tigrina which is perhaps one of the most uh, hybridized and the most popular tigrina it has a cinnamon scent it's got a very big uh, dark flower yellow there are very there are many various uh, varieties of this um, from dark to alba form to just many different kinds um, okay and down here I have a little seedling stanhopia that I got at Equigenera a few maybe last year this is Pathio Pathanhopia, Doug Kennedy. So this is a cross between a Pathinia and a Stanhopia. So that is still a baby seedling. There's a nice new growth there. Hopefully that will be maintained. Okay, moving on down to these two. Both of these bloomed for me last year. Well, maybe not this one. <clears throat> they believe this one is Varsvichii. One of these is Varsvichii. And this one is Frimerai. Uh, Frimerai. So yeah, that's Frimerai, and it does have a couple of new growths. That has not bloomed for me. This one is Varsvichii, and it's got numerous new growths. This was just repotted. Actually, that was just repotted. Pretty much they all were repotted. This one is my Stanhopia uh, Thunderbird that bloomed for me last year. This was repotted. And I need to remove those bulbs, but it's got some new growths going on. This Stanhopia is my Lydia book. No, it's Yolanda Brack. And that's the cross. This is an Equigenera. And I'm really waiting on this to bloom. It's got numerous new growths in there. And as you can see, the roots. Well, I don't see any roots there, but they're getting down in there. So, But it's filling up the pot or the basket, so it should be blooming. I'm not sure what those flowers will look like, but they're going to be pretty weird. I think they're yellow. And this one down here is cross between Charles Worthy Eye and Genishana. And this has always been head scaled when I got it. And it's been a constant battle. But I think I finally got it to where the point I don't see any scale on the plant at all. And there are lots of new growths coming on. This does not like any water in the winter because of the Charles Worthy Eye. Um, I did say that Litsii right there does not like any water. And Tigrina does not like any water. And all of these, I pretty much give them a lot more sun in, this, in the winter time. Um, I do have another Stanhopia that's in my greenhouse that I showed. No, it's actually over here. Which I haven't repotted it yet because I'm waiting on my sphagnum. This one right here which is Tigrina Rogue, semi-alba, so that's a new cross that needs to be put in a basket. And then here's my Stanhopia wardii. That had a harsh winter because it was so cold in my greenhouse. Um, it bloomed beautifully last year, had numerous spikes on it, maybe five spikes with five or six flowers each. And it's got a couple, three new growths on it looking pretty good so yeah everyone if you enjoyed my video press the like button and please subscribe to my channel again have a good day and enjoy your orchids bye